All right, so to start just your base, um, I'm gonna be using two colors today. Just to show you guys, I'm gonna be using this um, dark red color and also black. <laughs> So for the base, I usually use about four feet of string. This is the string that I like the most. It's um, like it has like a fabric over it. It's stretchy, but it's also thin. So I'm going to get like four feet from this, kind of eyeball it. Alrighty, so now since you have your four feet of string, um, we can start. I really like these little like plastic needles or whatever. They are super helpful when it comes to big projects, especially like this. Um, for this specific cuff, I'm probably going to be doing around 39 to 42 beads. Um, just for the start. For most of the cuffs that I make for myself, um, I do 36. Usually that's about right, but you're going to be wanting to go in intervals of three for this type of design. So I will be dipping one, two black beads, and then one red bead every time I go until I get to 42. So this would be six. nine and then so on all right so now since you have your 42 beads on you can go ahead or however many beads you picked um you can go ahead and tie it up personally i like to tie it three times and i do this bracelet pretty tight um especially since it's going to be the base to the rest of it um usually if you do them too loose like sometimes the rest of the bracelet might be pretty tight and it'll kind of like be like this instead of straight like this so you definitely want to make it kind of tight you want a little bounce in it but not too much you want those beads to stick together <clears throat> all right so now since you have your little bracelet with the little tail attached to it um i Usually, like, you're coming out of this red bead, which is where you need to be coming out of, but I like to go over a few. Sometimes that kind of helps um, with, like, the stability of it, I guess you could say, or, like, the way that it looks. Sometimes it'll get pulled down a little bit funny if you're making it right where the knot is there. So you just want to move over a bit, and this is where the fun happens, and you get to start kind of making it. Um, for this, I'm going to be doing one black bead, one red bead, and one black bead again. And you're just going to be going in through that red bead, pulling it nice and tight. And we are going to repeat. Oh my god, please ignore how bad I am at stabbing beads. <laughs> but we got the three beads right there. Going in through that next red bead. Pull. And you tighten. through that red bead so far you should have something that looks kind of like this um, to finish off that first layer that you got right there you're just gonna go in with the same three beads And then you'll be going in through that red bead that you normally go through down here. But then you're also going to want to go up one through the black bead and then two through that next red bead. Pull it tight and that's going to finish off like this like 
flower kind of mandala design that <clears throat> is to start. You're just going to want to keep continuing with the same pattern that you've already had and going in always through that red bead that you have on top there. This is what's really going to show you that X base in the pattern. As you can see right there, there's our first X already done. <laughs> if it'll focus, there we go. So yeah, that's our first X. And you pretty much just gonna wanna repeat this process around. And once I get to the end, I'll show you again how to see it. All right, so now you should be really seeing that X pattern come out. Um, when you go to end, it'll be the same thing as last time, grabbing those three same colored beads, going up and in through that red bead, up through one black bead, and then up through that next red bead. Pulling it tight always, you wanna keep it tight. And I also like to pull my points up, just makes it easier. But now that you have something that looks like this, you're gonna want to copy this X right here another like five times. So I'll come back once I copy this X another five times and I will show you how to securely close the cuff. All right, so now that you have six X's, so one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one, you're gonna wanna finish it off. Um, you're coming out of a red bead here and all you're gonna do is just add two black beads, go through that red bead, and pull it nice and tight. All right, so now that you've repeated adding those two, ble two black beads all the way around, um, you can go ahead and finish it off. Usually I like going down like a few beads um, just so that I can kind of hide that knot. So I'll go down one and then just kind of tie it off easily like that. And I like to tie it like about three times, I would say. That's usually the magic number. Alrighty, so next I'm gonna be making like the, I guess you could say like guardrails for the Rainbow Road. Um, I'm gonna be using three different colors. I'm gonna be doing kind of like a, uh, you know those like flags from the races, the white and black flags, the Finnish flags or whatever. I'm gonna try to be doing one of those and then adding some stars in the middle of it. So I will show you guys how to do that now. We should be coming out of whatever bead we use to tie it with, but I'm gonna go ahead and go back up with my string through this red bead that I have at the top. If I can get my needle through, that'd be great. Okay, I actually got it through. That was a little difficult. Um, so for this, I'm gonna be alternating colors. So I'm gonna be going, oh, I bent my, <laughs> bent my needle. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be going white, black, gold in the middle back here, and then white and black. And I'm just gonna be taking this going right through that bead next to it here. You definitely are gonna wanna pull these tight for sure. It's gonna kinda be like a, an X like that, <laughs> and they kinda turn out a little weird if they're a little too loose. But we're just gonna repeat that step again. Um, and I'm gonna be alternating, so white, black, gold, white, black. All right. And then again, just going through that next red bead and really making sure to pull these tight. So then just go ahead and do that all the way around until you get to this bead. Alrighty, so, so far you should have something that kind of looks like this. And for the last one, I'm going to keep doing the same pattern that we were doing here. The 
then we're just gonna take it in right through that same red bead that we started with. Make sure to get it nice and tight all around. And then personally, I like going through these two top black beads right here after I've gone through this red bead, just because we're about to take the string down. And if we do, without going through here, sometimes it'll kind of pull this X. So I don't wanna be coming in through those black beads. Go in through this next red bead back here. Sorry, kind of hard to show you. All right. So now you're gonna have this like cute little flower thing, hopefully coming out through any one of these red beads here. Then to get this like base that we want, this uh, like another X on top, they would call this a 3D X base cuff. Um, I'm gonna take it down through this black bead, red bead, another black bead, and then come out right through here. So hopefully you're coming out through this red bead. You're gonna wanna take opposite colors than what we have on top here. So I have white and black, so I'm gonna wanna do black and white. And then I'm gonna take this, put it right through that gold bead and pull it nice and tight. Then we're gonna alternate again using black and then white. And then go ahead and bring it in through this red bead right here. This is gonna give us that base, that kind of X that we're looking for, as you can see. And you are just gonna continue this all around the cuff. All right, so now you should have something that looks like this, and you're gonna be wanting to come out of that red bead down there, as you can see. Next, to do the other side, you're literally just gonna take your needle or whatever and push it all the way down, going through all of these beads until you hit the bottom. So hopefully you'll be coming out of that red bead there and you're just gonna wanna repeat the same process on the other side. So white, black, gold, white, black, and then just going in through that red bead there. And repeat this again all the way around. Alrighty, so hopefully you should have your base looking something like this. Um, I'm just gonna spruce mine up a little bit and I got this extra piece of string that I'm going to add stars and more gold beads right in the middle here um, in between these gold beads. So I'm just gonna do that really fast and then I'll be right back. This just little added bit, I think, spruces up the cuff so much. Just really, really gives it that like rainbow road look. Um, but I'm gonna finish this on the other side and then I'll come back and we can start on the rainbow. Alrighty, so for the rainbow part, it's gonna be a completely different type of pattern for um, this cuff. This is like a regular cuff pattern. Like if you looked up 
how to make a cuff, um, this would pop up. So I'm gonna take another four feet of string and just so you guys know, I definitely added more string to the other cuff. Um, that was not four feet. <laughs> but I'm not uh, the greatest at like knowing how many beads I need to put on here to get it to rotate well. But pretty much for this one, instead of intervals of three, um, you're going to be going in intervals of two. So I did 40, um, yeah, 42 for this cuff. So I'm going to try to um, do 46 and see how that kind of works. Um, for the rainbow, you're just going to be wanting your first color. So I'm just going to use pink as my first color. And I'm going to go ahead and put 46 pink beads on my string. And then just go ahead and see if that is going to rotate on my cuff line. Alright, so I ended up using 52 beads for my base. So that's 10 more beads than I started with. So I think that'd probably be a good... Um, number for you as well but you just really want that um to like slide you don't want it to get caught in any other beads um i did this like super super tight like you can't even really pull it because you know when you're rotating it on the cuff um you don't want it to like get caught anywhere and like separate or anything so i did this one really really tight um same thing with the other one I'm gonna go through a few beads before I start. So I'm just gonna go through like, I don't know, like four beads here, three. And then I'm gonna go in with my next color. So my next color is gonna be orange. So just take one orange bead, go in that next bead here. Pull it nice and tight. And continue that around the cuff. So another orange bead over one into the next my string is getting all caught on the cuff so it'll start kind of looking like that so far alrighty so now since you're coming to the end you should have something that looks like this I'm gonna add my one orange bead I'm gonna go in through that next pink one and then up through that orange one Then I'll just continue to be adding orange beads until I get to the next color. And it's kind of easier at this point because you really have like, you know, you have the beads sticking up so you can just go through. That's kind of what it's going to look like with the rows like that. So I'll finish this orange row and then come back again to show you how to secure it one more time. Alrighty, so now since you are almost done with your second layer, you should have that one bead left. We are just going to add an orange bead. Go in through that regular orange bead that we were been going through and up through the next one. If I can get it. <laughs> there we go. So now you have your first two rows and you are just going to go ahead and repeat this with the rest of your four colors. Alrighty, so now that you have your rainbow bracelet done, I'm just going to go ahead and tie this off really fast using three knots like always. And then we'll cut that. And this is like pretty much the end of the cuff. All you have to do is add the little Mario Kart person that you've chosen. To do that, I, it's kind of a little bit difficult to put the guys on. It's not too bad. <laughs> so what I do I don't think I'm gonna show it on camera just because it does kind of take me a second but I pretty much just wrap whatever string I have 
around the wheel of the car. And then once it's like that, I take this and I'll tie it down to whatever bead I feel is going to be suitable and look right. Um, I don't like to immediately double tie them or tie them super tight. Usually I'll put on like the two first. Um, if you do tie them super tight, sometimes it like won't exactly sit where you want it to or will pull the bead super hard so really like you don't need it super tight to the cuff just enough to secure it on alrighty so this is how it turned out hopefully this tutorial helped you guys um definitely spins nice and i love these little stars on the side fun time making it as per always and uh yeah i hope you guys have a great day